Welcome back everybody. So good to have you back. Our topic for this lesson is health protection. So what we're going to learn today is our basic first aid skills. We're going to learn about nosebleeds, treating cuts and burns. Activity 1. What to do if your nose bleeds. Number 1. Sit forward with your head down. Number 2. Pinch the soft part of your nose closed for 2 minutes and breathe through your mouth. 3. Put something cold on the back of your neck. 4. Do not blow your nose for a while after the bleeding has stopped. If the bleeding does not stop after 15 minutes, see a doctor. What can you remember about nosebleeds? Write down the important steps and learn them. Come on boys and girls, you can learn them. One day you will be able to help a friend. Activity 2. Treating cuts. We can't see germs, but they are everywhere. If you cut yourselves, we need to keep the wound clean so that we do not get infected by germs. Tips to remember. Never touch another person's blood. If you are helping someone, always wear gloves. Stop the bleeding by lifting the wound above the level of the heart. Try to stop the bleeding by pressing a dressing on the wound. Clean the wound with water and dental if you have. If the wound is deep and keeps on bleeding, please see a doctor. Activity 2 continued. Shout out the answer if it is true or false. You do not need to use gloves when helping someone. Never touch another person's blood. To stop the bleeding, lift the wound above the head. We can see germs. Did you shout out the answers? I hope you did. Let's go through them. You do not need to use gloves when helping others. No, you have to wear gloves when you are helping someone else with blood. So that one is definitely false. Never touch another person's blood. Yes, true. Did you shout true? To stop the bleeding, lift the wound above the head. False. You have to lift the wound above the heart. We can see germs. False. That's right. We cannot see germs. Activity 3. Burns. If you touch something hot, you will burn yourself. What should you do if someone gets burnt? Keep the burn under cold water for at least 10 minutes. This helps to cool the skin. Uncover the burn. Don't take off clothing if it is stuck to the skin. Put a clean dressing on the burn to keep it clean. If the burn is deep or bigger than the palm of your hand, see a doctor immediately. Make a poster to show the important do's and don'ts of first aid. You can remember all the things you have learned. Well done, boys and girls. More fun. Maybe when you are big, you could be a paramedic. Ask someone at home to test you on your first aid skills. See if you can find an old white shirt and draw a red cross on your shirt. You could even make a red cross hat. Now you are definitely the part. So go help others. Well done, boys and girls. That was a good job. 
See you next time.